What's good everybody, it's JC Sims here and welcome back to my channel. So as you know, we had a bunk bed update last month that finally gave us bunk beds after waiting for nearly seven years. And a lot of us were bummed to find out that they don't really function the way we expected them to. You can't really put like sofas or dressers or two tiled desks underneath and that is a bummer. I'm so thankful to all the amazing custom content creators out there because like clockwork, after about a week, um, people were starting to come out with fixes and ways that you can have desks underneath and stuff. So for today's video, I'm gonna be showing you a few of my new favorite kind of updated bunk bed custom content. Um, I think most of it is out for free right now. One set is public access on April 23rd. But if you like videos like this, don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you get notified every time I post a new video and let's go ahead and get into it. Okay, everybody, so we're here in the game. Today we are at Foxbury University or University of Foxbury, not really sure. I have not played like on campus in forever. I think I've only played on campus like one or twice just because the way that they like run to class i'm always late whatever but i wanted to set up this video in the dorms today because i was really excited to have like loft beds i didn't have like i did i had a lofted bed in the dorms once but i usually just did it like halfway lofted but i think bunk beds and lofts work amazing in dorms so that's what we're going to check these out today now i remember when university came out there was some mods being made like for being able to put like ovens and university housing and i remember there was an issue where like custom beds did not work in dorms so i'm not sure if that has been fixed or not um but if it has not these bunk beds will still work in like a normal residential house so um, the first ones that I want to show you, I guess, since they're here, are by Around the Sims 4. So Around the Sims 4 has come out with some bunk beds in the past that were just made like with their own animations, but they have updated them for EA. I'm hoping I don't miss any, but um, it looks like we have one of them right here, the IKEA like loft bed frame. This one I am so excited about. I love this one. This is like pretty much what any loft bed that you buy looks like. Um, my little cousins have one like this, like the metal and whatnot. So these ones, the ladders, they have different versions. So the ladder for this one is on the right. The ladder for this one is on the left. And then with these, you also have mattresses. They are separated. The reason why I, I still have not used the EA bunk beds because I don't use EA beds ever. I love separated bedding. I love being able to mix frames with different duvet covers. I don't like to be held to like one bedspread for the frame, if that makes sense. Uh, I'm really trying hard to find these separate. Okay, here they are. So in your build by mode, you will see it. Um, the duvets for the top, they'll say top bunk bed. So you have the ones, these have been recolored. I have the original ones in here, but they're just updated for the bunk beds. So here is the top bunks right here. So they slot in just like this. So with the bunk beds that have a ladder on one side, this one that has like a left and a right one, the actual bed frame is gonna be a little bit bigger than the bed just so there's no clipping. So just keep that in mind. So we have this one. We also have this one, which is so cute. Perfect for like a toddler's or a child's room. So these kind of look like a little playground. I freaking love these. These are so cute. And I love that there's like a little roof little thing, like a canopy over it. So. I'm gonna go ahead and put a bunk on this as well so you can see what that looks like. And you'll see that it like doesn't let me place it until I actually turn it the right way and then it kind of slots in. Again, because it is a left and a right, like you can pick the left or right ladder, the bed, um, the bed frame is gonna be a little bit bigger, but I just love the way this looks. And I guess I can show you, I hope these work in dorms. I hope custom beds still work in dorms. So even though someone has already been assigned this bed, I'm gonna go ahead and sleep in it. Okay, so I guess custom bunk beds definitely do work in dorms. He's gonna get up in that. I love this little canopy. And then he's just gonna go to bed. So I love these. These, again, like I said, perfect for like toddlers and kids. Room. <laughs> the guy just came in like, excuse me, that's my bed, but I'm deleting it anyways, you tried it. So let's go ahead and look at the other ones. So here is one of those bunk beds I was talking about that doesn't have a ladder on the back. So as you can see, it's sticking out a little bit, but I'm hiding the ladder this way. But if I wanted to turn it this way, I could. And then now I can take the bottom bunks kind of work 
normally so I can take just a normal bed but I'm gonna put a top bunk up here and as you can see because it's not a left or right it's just a universal one the bunk bed actually fits right into the frame we also have this one which is updated from the tiny houses collection which I loved and these just kind of give that look like when you're in an RV and you have like the loft bed up there just kind of like on a platform hanging off the wall that is what this looks like and i think it looks so cool so i'm gonna go ahead and get another bed for this one so here's the bed on top you can kind of like move it over here if you'd like and then we're just gonna have him go ahead and get in it and as you can see he's sleep this would look really good in an rv i know ravishing has a rv set out that i'm waiting until the whole set comes out so i can do like a whole rv video but these would look really good in rvs um little lofted studio apartments really really good space saver options with these bunk beds so those are the bunk beds that came in the around the sims 4 set you get four different i think four one two three yes four different sets of bunk beds as well as these separated top and bottom bunks um right now they are early access until april 23rd so if you want to pledge to around the sims 4 on patreon if you can't wait you can go ahead and do that but if not they will be public on april 23rd so now we're going to go ahead and switch to the queen ravishing love her um she has also updated her bunk beds her bunk beds were like i feel like those were like the first um custom content created bunk beds everyone loves these bunk beds so now they've been updated like this so these are just the ones that you're kind of used to seeing and i like these because you know her custom content always fits so seamlessly in with ea stuff so the ladder actually hides in the wall automatically like the um base game bunk beds like with the ladder hiding thing so the same bunk bed she, i think she said she retextured a little bit comes in these amazing swatches i love this white one but she also gave us the bedding that matches so these are two different sets they'll be together in the download link you just have to download them separately and again you can just slot in the bedding up here so you don't have to deal with the bedding changing with the frame and stuff like that i hate that so i love these bedspread colors too i love the patterns i love this little like void critter one perfect again for kids bedroom we have the little um what's his name yamachan i think and then we also have the bottom frame right here that just fits perfectly um we're gonna have to change the color so it doesn't glitch out but that's that and then we can go ahead and put the bottom bunk which is right here it just slots into there nicely and there you go you have your bunk bed i also love it because um she included the toddler bed frame in here so if you wanted to have like um, a toddler and a child share a room you can have the toddler bed on the bottom and the children's bunk on the top now i remember when bunk beds were coming out a lot of people were like they better give us toddler bunk beds and in my mind i'm like who is gonna put their toddler on the top bunk like that is so dangerous but um but this makes perfect sense for the toddler to like, be on the bottom bunk that's cool but i when i saw like toddler bunk beds i'm like oh my god i would never put my like three-year-old like six or seven feet up in the air but here is the toddler bedding that goes on the bottom it's so cute or my, i think it's the uh, uh eco lifestyle bedding similar to the eco lifestyle bedding but it's basically incompatible do not worry but you can also if you have different um bedding on the bottom like here's the oak house bedding by pierism if you have other separated cc toddler bedding or anything you can just slot that down here as well so that is ravishing's rendition of the updated bunk beds amazing as always um we are going to move on to the last set of bunk beds that i've been using and loving so the creator nando he is really popular for his like world retexture mods like I, he did the um uh romance in paris and he does like he changes the worlds that come with the sims and do something better so he has ventured out into custom content objects and i'm so excited he did because this stuff is amazing he actually has a um fashion store set that i'm going to be coming out with i think actually when this video i'm pre-filming because my birthday is next week i'm going somewhere but i think when this video is out the fashion video will already be up so i'll have to link that in a card or something above my head but he has fixed the bunk bed so this it just looks like the normal base game bunk bed that's fine uh, i really don't mind the swatches i just wish that um I just like separated bedding so that the bedding stays while the frames change and whatnot so these bunk beds have a built-in 
dresser and desk that you can put inside so i'm gonna find that really quickly okay so here it is so the simsman simsman multi-purpose bunk bed that is what the bunk bed's called and in the desks you're gonna have a simsman um, attachable desk so this comes in some amazing wood swatches pretty much to match the bed perfectly and then it literally just slots in there I don't know why it's doing that it just slots in there like that it looks so good like this is what I think of when I think of loft beds like the loft beds that already have the desk attached so then you can put a chair under here let's go ahead and get him out a laptop and now we should be able to sit down at our desk. Um, I don't know. What should we do? Play a game. Who are you? Who are y'all? And we can actually use the desk under the bunk bed. This, it looks so seamless. This, it just looks amazing. And if you watched my video where I showcased some of my favorite apartment CC and mods from Ravishing, she had a mod that turns desks into vanities and it works for CC desks. That mod also works with this, so I'm allowed to apply makeup, change appearance, and everything from my desk as well. Definitely go check that video out. These two things go hand in hand, and I am just loving the way it looks with a built-in desk. Like, leave it to mod creators to do something that The Sims couldn't do in seven years to do it in like a week. Amazing. So the next part that you can also slot down here is a dresser, which I also think looks really like dormy. So let's go ahead and go to storage so I can get that out. Okay, so here it is. It is the Simsmon, I'm, I cannot say that word, built-in dresser. So if we turn it like this, look at this guys this reminds me so much of my dorm didn't look like this but i had like some friends in the other dorms on campus that like all their beds and stuff and dressers were built into each other and it looked just like this and i love this because now you can decorate this little top right here you know i would put like my bath caddy and stuff on it if i was still in a dorm and had a setup like this so let me go get some stuff out so you can put like a lamp on here if you wanted to like picture frames makeup whatever and now we are able to change our outfit right from under the bed i love that i don't know why this wasn't a thing and i just love how built in it looks it literally looks like they bought the bed like this i love the little slot up here you can put like a mirror in here to get ready this this is good this is some good stuff nando also has made a double loft bed if i can find it i, I need to go through my mods folder and just like take out stuff that I don't use. I wish there was a way for me to like delete Max's stuff I don't use, here it is. So it is the Simsmon double loft bed. Um, these are really cool. Like I was talking about, my cousin has like the loft bed with the um, desk underneath. It's actually a double loft bed. I have not gotten to try out the double loft bed yet. So I'm gonna try to hide one side of it because the way my little cousin has it set up, it's pushed against one wall and then underneath he has um like his desk and stuff attached so i'm wondering if i can attach i can kind of i mean it floats over here um i wonder if it attaches like this way maybe no okay it's for the single bed that's fine but you have all this real estate under here i wonder if i can put just like a normal desk back like on this wall and it still works okay you guys i am shooketh it works so let's go ahead and see if this um computer works wow this is amazing so i like how there's more room under here so i wonder if i could also put the desk maybe like right here how that would look i feel like that would look kind of cool if the desk was like under it you can really with this double bunk bed and putting stuff under it it's like a cave under here even though his head is <laughs> his head you know my his neck might be a little hurt but you know it's fine so now let's go ahead and see if he can still yep he can still use it this is amazing okay everybody so i just lied i completely forgot that sims will use stuff down here but they just can't sleep so um with the computer desk they actually have to be turned this way and they'll still work he can still get up in the bed but they cannot be this way which 
is fine. I'm fine with it doing this because we still have a lot of room. So now let's go ahead and have him email his professors. Yeah, you can still use the bottom. So if you wanna use these double beds with a desk underneath, make sure to put the desk like this way. Don't put it this way because then they will have a problem getting up there, um, which is no fault of Nando's. It's just the way that the bunk beds were made and all that stuff. So um, that is all of the bunk beds I wanted to show you, but I also wanted to make you guys aware of a mod that um, came up when I was downloading the Around the Sims 4 bunk beds. So this mod is by Lothari Ho. I think I have showcased like some of his mods before. Very amazing mods that just fix the game. So these come with more bunk bed slots. Um, it really just makes it so desks, dressers, love seats, and living chairs can be slotted under bunk beds. So I'm just going to show you really quickly what that might look like with a base game bed. So I'm just going to put this one down really quickly. Okay. And then let's just put this desk under here. Screw it. And with this mod, it should work. It should Okay, so this is the base game bed. As you can see, I have a little double desk under here and it still works. So they have made sure that this works. I tried to do it with this one and I think it might have not been pushed over enough because he still had an issue, but this one works just fine. So thank God for mod creators because I was so confused when the bunk beds came out. I'm like, what is this? <laughs> These don't work the way I want them to work. So now we don't have to worry about it. And honestly, at this point, I always count on custom content creators to come through and fix everything that the sims team doesn't so thank you we all we all very very much appreciate you well everybody that is going to wrap up my video showcasing some of my new favorite um updated bunk bed custom content i've honestly been trying to look for some more i just feel like it's still a new thing and i'm very satisfied with the custom content that i have now with the separated beds i can i can live with having like one bunk bed frame but i can't live with like having one colored like duvet i i need the detachable like bed spreads and whatnot. So I'm content for right now. I think that these bunk bed CC, it's, I mean, it works. <laughs> it works and EAs didn't seem to work. I know that they said they're gonna update it in a patch, but we'll see. But uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like this video, don't hesitate to subscribe, comment, like, turn the notifications bell on. You know the drill, it means so much to me. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.